Hi, this is Eric J coming at you with Street News. No, we ain't professional and neither is this story. So look, 32 year old Erica Hall was found with a knife sticking out of her back at her home in Magnolia, Mississippi. And family members are saying it was her 14 and 12 year old daughters who did it. So look, According to the reports, Ebony Hall, who is Erica's sister, said one of the girls tried to run their mother over in a car on New Year's Eve. Just four nights earlier, Erica called the sheriff's office complaining about unruly children, and she went on to say she should have pressed charges and had them arrested. When Erica's body was discovered, she was lying on the ground outside of her home. She had been stabbed multiple times and shot once in the chest with a small caliber gun. Investigator Chris Bale testified that the girls confessed to planning the killing in advance, faking a knock at the front door to lure Erica Hall from her bedroom. The 14-year-old told Bell that she stabbed Erica Hall, then her sister shot her, and the 14-year-old stabbed her again. The girl's father, Eddie Isaac, said he doesn't believe the version of events put forward by authorities and by Erica Hall's relatives. I got him. Good Lord, got him, said Isaac. I also got them some counseling coming and schooling coming. So everything is going to be all right so far. They are going through changes, but it's going to be like that. They are going to be all right. Listen, Isaac, be careful with those girls. I know sometimes when it comes to our kids, we like to stick by their side, whether they right or wrong. But look, you got to draw the line somewhere. I mean, you probably didn't get along with their mother. You probably don't even like their mother's side of the family. But honestly, honestly, do you think everybody wrong? And you said in your statement that God got them. They got plenty of counseling and plenty of schooling coming. Sir, if you truly believe that that's all they need, you clearly don't know what's best for those girls. And hey, maybe they didn't do it. Maybe they just confessed to it. And all the evidence that they got that's pointing towards them, maybe it's wrong. Maybe their mother drove them to do it. I don't know. I would like to just say this here to you, Isaac. Be careful. I know you love them. And I know you can't imagine them doing something so cruel. But listen, if you really want to help them, teach them how to hold themselves accountable for their actions.